They call themselves anonymous. They are hackers on steroids. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. What is anonymous? What is Scientology? Scientology is a religion created by L. Ron Hubbard. Its belief system is based on the idea that all human misery is due to the spirits of long-dead aliens. Anonymous is harder to define. It began on the internet with loosely associated groups of people posting anonymously. It has no leaders and anyone can be a part of it. They generally operate for their own amusement. However, they did help convict pedophile Chris Forkand in 2007 and recently have turned their sights on Scientology, declaring it to be a cult and a business. It all began when an introduction to Scientology video starring Tom Cruise was leaked onto the internet. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. As you drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. Scientology quickly began taking the video down, threatening website hosts with lawsuits. When Anonymous began looking into Scientology's history of internet censorship, they discovered a disturbingly long list of crimes committed by the Church of Scientology, and so Anonymous decided to take action. Hello, leaders of Scientology, we are Anonymous. Over the years, we have been watching you, your campaigns of misinformation, your suppression of dissent, your litigious nature. Initially, their efforts were juvenile, mostly involving denial of service attacks which took down Scientology websites. But then, longtime Scientology critic Mark Bunker addressed Anonymous, urging them to fight Scientology legally and peacefully to get some real results. It may seem like fun and games, but Scientology is serious, and you have to be prepared. Spurred on by Mark Bunker, whom Anonymous kindly dubbed Wise Beard Man, they drew up plans for what was to be known as Project Genology. Anonymous created a long-term plan which involved removing Scientology's tax-exempt status and simultaneous international protests. Thousands of people across the globe took part in these protests, handing out flyers, making announcements, and generally spreading the truth of Scientology. The protests began on February 10th, and they take place every month and address a different aspect of Scientology each time. February 10th was the birthday of Scientologist Lisa McPherson, who died because of Scientology. In 1995, Lisa was involved in a car accident. She was taken to hospital, but was later checked out by a group of Scientologists who took her to Fort Harrison Hotel. There she received no medical treatment and died due to dehydration and severe neglect. This is not the only case of its kind. There are countless incidents of denying medication which have led to deaths, a long list of suicides and numerous other suspicious deaths. On March 15th there was Operation Party Hard, held just two days after the birthday of Scientology founder Al Ron Hubbard. Hubbard began as a science fiction writer, penning Battlefield Earth among others. He has often been quoted as saying, You don't get rich writing science fiction. If you want to get rich, you start a religion. And, I'd like to start a religion. That's where the money is. And so in 1952, he did. And the world was the worst place for it. The same year, Hubbard married Mary Sue Whip. In the 1970s, Scientology committed the single largest infiltration of the United States government in history. Operation Snow White, in which Scientology destroyed undesirable records regarding their church. In 1979, Mary Sue Hubbard and 10 other Scientologists were convicted and sent to federal prison. Though both Mr. and Mrs. Hubbard are now dead, the illegal activities of Scientology continues. On April 12th, it was Operation Reconnect. This month, Anonymous addressed Scientology's disconnection policy. Someone who opposes Scientology is called a suppressive person, or SP. The disconnection policy is where a Scientologist severs ties with friends and family whom they believe are suppressive persons. It is a part of the way Scientology brainwashes their members by encouraging them to disconnect with anyone who might be a threat to their system. Countless relationships and friendships have been torn apart by the disconnection policy. Prior to the next protest in May, a number of free hug protests were held by Anonymous. Scientology had been rebutting Anonymous with false ad hominem attacks, labeling Anonymous as cyber terrorists. Then on May 10th, 
it was Operation Game Over. You may have noticed that Anonymous often wear masks to protest, particularly Guy Fawkes masks. This is to protect their identity and protect themselves from Scientology's fair game policy. This policy states that anyone who opposes Scientology may be tricked, sued, lied to or destroyed. Many Scientology critics have been affected by this policy. John Sweeney was spied on and harassed, Keith Henson was jailed, and Sean Lonsdale supposedly committed suicide. The list goes on. Anonymous protects their identity so that they cannot be attacked. Next came CR on June 14th. Employing a mock pirate theme, the focus was on Scientology's Sea Organization. This is an association within Scientology that handles a number of aspects of the so-called church, including auditing, management, and investigating critics. Like the rest of Scientology, it is rife with inhumane policies, brainwashing, and abuses its own members. Children are unwelcome, so pregnant women are pressured to have abortions. Many workers do 20-hour days and live in small rooms with as many as 12 others. They deny their rights as employees and human beings. And Scientology escapes labor laws because of its status as a religion. At the time of making this video, Anonymous's campaign against Scientology has been going on for nearly half a year. In that time, it has received huge amounts of media coverage, has raised the awareness about the truth of Scientology, and has seen Scientology lose funding and members. But there's still much to be done. We are Anonymous. Expect us. Stopping back in China, so finish what you got.